What is up everyone? It is Nick here and today I am playing Torchlight. This is going to be a little new series I'm doing, part of a bigger series and I really haven't talked about that yet. And that bigger series is essentially I want to actually go through and like do LPs of all the Steam games I own. I own like a hundred or so. And some of them I've never played, I bought it in bundles and stuff and some um, I just played and haven't played in a while and I kind of want to just revisit some of those games and I'll do that by LPing them because I enjoy LPing and I really don't care if I play a really bad game that no one wants to watch because my mission is just to LP every game, good or bad, that I own. Um, so yeah, Torchlight is the first game on that list because I just bought it um, in the humble indie bundle for 10 bucks because I'm poor and I really don't have much money. Um, I know nothing about this game except that it's a dungeon crawler. Um, so it looks like we have three little classes here and that's quite a bit of lag in between them. Ooh, we can be a girl. That's always cute. Um, alchemist, that kind of sounds good. So we have a destroyer, a uh, vanquisher, and alchemist. The alchemist channels the power into the ember to attack from afar and summon minions at his side. That sounds good. Um, marksman, traps, confused and debilitating. Um, yeah, actually, I kind of like the bow style. That's kind of my favorite. So let's see. We can either get a cat or a dog. Obviously, it's the internet. We have to get a dog. And I am terrible at names. So dog isn't going to be called anything. Character, I guess since it's a girl, my name's Nick. I always use Nick for everything. So I guess Nikki will be my pet name if I'm ever a girl in a game, which this game it is. So I'm a Nikki. Um, for players new to action RPGs. Action RPG veterans, masters or masterists only. Death is permanent. Well, we're definitely not gonna do death is permanent because I have no idea how hard this game is. Definitely not easy. I don't think. I mean, I used to play action RPGs all the time on the PS2 when I was like eight. Um, Baldur's Gate and stuff. I was so into those games. I have not played an action RPG in ages. And plus, since it's LPing, I don't want to like have to rage during this because it's like extremely difficult so I will do um normal were more severe than I expected but I must admit I felt a bit relieved petty assignments often signal the end of a vanquisher's career I came to restore the flow of ember but the darkness below torchlight ran far deeper than the mines it would be a test of both my skill and my conviction evil must be torn out at its root and this one had buried itself deeply so I'm guessing Ember is like the mana of this game. Ooh, the tutorial. Welcome to the town of Torchlight Explorer, the area by left clicking to move around. Visit Denzians of the town to shop or find quests to perform. When you are ready, enter the mines to begin your journey. Yes, show the tips, that'd be very nice actually. Um, so the game itself doesn't look like complete ass. I am playing at seven or I'm playing at 1080 full screen right now. I'll downscale it to 720, so. I don't know, just in case any of you guys care about that kind of thing. Yeah. Oh, you're not going to read it to me. I hate you. Um, wow, that's going really fast. Perhaps you have more courage. Um, mission, that sounds good enough. I don't feel like reading it. Um, please find me a glimmering ember on the first floor of the mines. I know the tunnels are littered with lower quality crystals, but I've already learned as much as I can from studying those. So he's a weakling, um, so he wants us to do, go do things. I cannot concentrate with those monsters about if you have items to combine you can come back another time so you're like uh, not the alchemist but um I don't know tinkerer Ember is essential to my work but those monsters are making it impossible to mine so it looks like a lot of people have are having issues with the mine um if you haven't arrived to fight the monsters I would have already packed you up okay cool everyone wants those monsters gone ooh a chest can I open it this is your inventory screen. Drag weapons and armor into the appropriate slots to equip them. Drop items by dragging them into the play area. Useful items may be activated by right clicking on them. To use items on your pet, drag them into the pet pole icon at the top left of the screen or hold shift while right clicking an item. Um, okay. Sounds good. This is your stash. You can place items here for long term stir. Oh, this is not a chest, it's my permanent stuff chest. If your inventory is ever getting full, to offload some stuff you don't want to get rid of pretty much here. Hold shift while clicking an item to move it to the opposite pane, kind of like Minecraft. Um, or buy and sell if you're in a merchant interface. Okay, so what do we have to start out with? We have 400 um, HP potion. How much health do we have? We have 200 HP, so 
Uh, there's plenty of stuff. Um, teleport to town scrolls and an identify scroll. Um, practice bow. So obviously the first bow we got is not gonna be amazing. Um, boot to do. So yep, that's not a chest. Damn it! I want loot. I enjoy loot. So what? Um, mini map. If I scroll over it, nothing exciting happens. Um, can we go in buildings? Um, oh, that is how you do something. Oh, okay. Left click is attack, and right click is skill, which is ricochet fires a projectile from the active range to weapon. Inflicts 88, um, 44 mana. We have 20 mana, so we can cast out a few times. Oh, we have another one, tab. Fires a ricocheting. Is that the same one? Yeah, it's the same one. Um, oh, tab to switch. I guess it's just switches between the same one, because I'm lame right now and don't have much of anything and actually I'm getting some pretty terrible screen whoops I did not realize that restarted the game but um screen tearing I don't know I'm um, I don't know if you know you guys know what that is it pretty much just looks like um the screen split in two and it's really weird obviously um fraps doesn't pick it up when recording but I can see it on my monitor so I had to restart the game to of um do that and there's actually a question mark over there is that just yeah it's just the quest I'm currently doing so let's get on to the combat and see if that's any good actually can I buy anything merchant interface identify scroll mana nothing exciting I don't have any, anything I want I probably don't have any money um whatever so how do we fight I'm assuming we just left click and shoots an arrow over here I can't hold them back much longer you all right Syl? rest here a while I'm going ahead to finish the job Oh yeah, you are big boy. Um, hey, I want to help. Wow, he just no teleported. Sent for my help. The Ember Mines are overrun with these creatures. His letter was urgent, but I had no idea how dire things had become. I am Syl, and that was my companion, Brink. We've only just arrived in Torchlight, and it looks like we're going to need some help. You look capable, and I can pay you well. Please catch up to Brink before he gets himself. I look killed. capable. I literally just started playing the game. I literally have no idea what I'm doing. I don't even know how to fight. I have a practice bow. A freaking practice bow. You think that's capable of like taking down the demons? Okay, whatever. I, I think I'm overlooking into the game. And began my exploration of the, These mines are vast and the adventure begins. I've never seen so rich a vein. Miners labor to extract it and take no heed of my warnings. I cannot blame them. I too could not resist the pull of ember. This ember is the same as that which afflicts me. The taint within it resonates with the corruption in my bones. I can feel it so clearly now. Blight springs from the depths and flows up through the veins. To purge myself of this evil, I must find the source. Quite. Oh, so wait, is this mana? Oh, that's actually mana. So I have no idea what ember is versus mana. Um, I'm assuming that's something we're gonna figure out. And it actually looks like this bow is pretty badass. Um, probably want to stay back. Probably don't have that much defense because. Range characters tend to not have too much defense. And my cat looks like a motherfucking bamf. Anyway, you have discovered a magical item. It is unidentified, which means that its magical powers are undiscovered. Identify it by right-clicking on an identify scroll and then left-clicking the item. Okay, sorry, there's a one second. Let me take this pen out of my pocket. It's poking my side really hardcore. Ugh, okay. So let's fight this last Rattin. That's a nice original name anyway. Um, I'm assuming inventory is I so we have this magical leather sash which we don't have any belt item so um, Right click to use the scroll and then left click on it increases all fire damage by two and it has two armor I'll take the two armor um, Otherwise the fire damage is not insanely useful um, Ooh doors those are doors are always fun mechanics, you know opening closing I don't know. I don't know. When, when are you gonna open them? When are you gonna close them? You know, choices, man. Choices. Ooh, some destructible things. I know Torchlight 2 is actually coming out 
Friday, and I'm recording this the Wednesday before it comes out, so Torchlight 2 is not out. If I enjoy this game enough, and if you guys seem to like this LP, I will definitely um, try to find 20 bucks to get Torchlight 2 and LP that. Um, I did not mean that I wanted to identify a scroll, because obviously the more items we find, the more things we're going to want to identify. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't know if I'm that... Ooh, that was an explosion-y barrel. barrel. Apparently I didn't take damage from that. Ooh, treasure. I wonder how much gold's actually, like, worth in this game. Um, because I, um, Borderlands, it's like you get 99 million dollars. I'm talking about the original Borderlands, like, money was like, oh, you got, you got a hundred dollars, it's, that's nothing. How about, try, try nine billion. Um, but anyway, now we're playing Borderlands 2 and money seems like impossible to find. I'm pro, um, yeah, I shouldn't talk about other series that might just confuse you, especially if you're watching this way in the future, or if I um, have issues with uploading like I was having lately. Um, that is an Azure uh, gel. Gels are always fun. Let's run there every game. Open the door. I'm clicking on the door. I'm not clicking on the ratin. Ratin. So, so far, it seems like a typical dungeon crawler, which is... Fine by me. I have not played a dungeon crawler in quite some time. Oh, you're not an enemy. In my time off, I do a sport of cave fishing down here. You'd be surprised at the variety of fish in the underground pools. Ooh, chests. Nice. Um, sorry if I trip up on words sometimes. I'm not the best at reading out loud. Um, ooh, pistol. Um, so wait, first. Okay, let's see here. So I have a uh, couple identifiable scrolls. Um, I did not actually need to look at both of those. Two damage reflected. That sounds pretty badass. So now we have a chest piece, which makes us a little less sexy, but whatever. Um, oh, I can equip a second weapon, which I'm assuming that's a ranged weapon. Um, which one does more damage? You do 25 slow attack speed. Um, you do 22 per second. Oh, okay. So, how do we change on the fly here? You're holding the pistol now, right? Oh, whatever. Um, cool, cool, cool. I hope there's no ammo that um, has to do with that. Ooh, that is pretty cool. So, it um, fires about the same speed as the other one and does more damage. I'm completely okay with that. Okay, this mini... Oh, there's a plus or minus on the mini map. Yeah, let me zoom that out. I like having an overview of a lot of my surroundings. Um, ooh, monster. Okay, I'm guessing this is just like the tutorial level and it's like ridiculously easy and there's no strategy except shoot things. Um, hopefully it's not that easy and I regret playing on normal because I, uh, I probably could handle hard. If this become, if this just stays this easy, I'll definitely try hard, but I'm assuming this is just the beginning. It's just point and click. Point and click fun. Um, it's like a labyrinth down here. Haven't played a game in a while where they don't give you the map upright. I guess Borderlands 2 did that, but um, as of right now, I've only me and Andrew have only done the first recording session. Um, Borderlands 2 actually came out yesterday. Um, I'm probably gonna play that by myself. Probably not gonna record it because obviously, if I'm recording everything I do, it's gonna be way too much to upload. You've gained a level. Click on the stats up screen, like this, the stats up and skills up buttons on either side of the screen to apply your newfound wisdom. Ooh, nice little effects there. You have a new stat, you have a new stat point, wait, what? That doesn't make sense. You have a new stat points available. I don't like how they made that plural, whatever, to distribute. Click that button next to each of the uh, attributes to improve that aspect of your character. You also have new skill points that may be used to improve your character's abilities in the skill menu. Press S. Well, well, well. Um, you're the skill menu, I'm assuming, and you're this. Okay, so what does dexterity do? Dexterity increases range damage by a direct percentage. Strength increases melee damage by a direct percentage. We're not going to need much of that. Magic increases we um, weapon elemental damage by a direct percent, and defense increases the damage your armor absorbs by a direct percent. Um, does it tell much how? S oh, does it go from 13 to 14? Range damage you currently inflict, critical chance 3. Um, okay, is there anything else we can do, or is it just that? Because otherwise, that kind of seems lame. So, although obviously, we just do dexterity, because I mean. We want better hurting power. 
Oh, okay. So as you tell it, it says how high the damage is going to be. Okay. Um, so I suppose that's all good. And over here we have our abilities. So, so far we have range weapon, ex expertise, mastery of bow, pistols, crossbows, and rifles. Always enabled. Obviously that's how I actually am able to use them. We have, oh, we have different character skill trees. Ricochet fires a projectile. Um, frost plum. Okay, well, let's look at the rogue. There is an arc of five darts that pierce foes and... Hurl a bomb that splits into electrical bolts on impact. What's like the bottom ones? Hurl a device that shocks nearby foes with bolts of lightning. Um, reduces the level requirement of any spells. Eh, I don't know if I like that. I think rogue is the path I'm going to take. Um, increases the chance to find magical items. Oh, yes. Rogue is definitely the, the path I'm going to take in this trip. So can I like equip this? Okay, I can. So it looks like now tab will switch between those, if you can see at the bottom there. So I have this, which is a bunch of arrows, and how do I can I activate it? Is there like a cooldown? Um, okay, I don't know why she's not firing the ricochet or not, or if that's a situational thing. But let's see how good it is on like a spider. Fuck you! Well, I guess that works. Use that mana up. Um, I mean, the pistol's already pretty good. Oh, I get it. You can fire it, like, um, pretty quickly in succession, unlike the pistol. It's slower. Ooh, another identify scroll. I do enjoy my identify scrolls. Um, oh, I just noticed there's text in there some of their names. I kind of want to read what that said. Um, flees one, allies perish. Oh, so if you kill one of them, rest them run away, apparently. Except I haven't really seen that happening. Um, make, are they running away? I want to get up there and kill them! Must kill all the things. Must level up. Where's the level up bar? Oh, is that it at the bottom? Yep, that would be the experience bar. Um, fuck you, Rattan, and screw you, spider guy that I didn't read your name. Because I killed you too fast, because I'm that, I'm that bro at the game. Oh, and there's a skeleton. Yep, you can get the heck out of here. Is there, like, a radar where it's like, hey, go here, this is where the objective is? Or am I just, like, randomly crawling through the cave on no direction um can i not go over there oh it's not letting me over there i think can i was sad around nope those are all hotkeys okay um oh, i want that scroll can i up here no this appears to be blocked. no i closed the map how did i close the map there we go okay don't worry guys don't 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 worry guys i oh i see on the mini map oh so if we walk up here Thank you, minimap. I love you. Let's zoom out. Oh, that's a max zoom out. Sad face. I hope we can get around this way. That would make me extremely disappointed if we could not. Um, and... Yes, we can get down. I was wondering if that was a stairs or like a cliff. I'm not used to the graphics of this game yet, so... Just a little thing. Um, are we, should we go down? Because usually when you go downstairs, it's like, oh, this area is going to be a little harder. Um, then the last area. Ooh, a mana potion. I'll probably just sell those. I really don't end up using magic. Or, I don't know. Depends on the game. Um, like World of Warcraft, I was the mage, so I used a lot of mana. But I only played that for a month, because I was able to get the free month. Um, so I just played it for a month, and I've never played it since. And I heard some people like World of Warcraft LPs. So maybe in the future, after I play every Steam game I own, it's just going to take some time. And you look like a boss, but... Um, knockback, immune to knockback, but my, my cat is like a bamf. Um, oh, there's her health. I was like, where's your health, little girl? Um, I really don't want to accidentally have you die. I wonder if there's a way to recall her. Aggressive, ah, oh, I see. Um, so yeah, defensive stance, I suppose. Don't want her randomly goofing off here. Actually, maybe attack. Then I'll, then she'll just start attacking things and I don't have to worry about attacking them. Make the game happen faster um wow all the loot i enjoy loot this is why you play dungeon crawlers or action rpgs as they called it um is for the loot i saw us picking up some things like this leather shoe and i already have better leather leather boots than that oh it auto equips things okay that's cool um oh yeah look at that the lo the spiders are now level two that's what i thought going down um increases the difficulty um, as it should, because, yeah. Oh, now we're getting the magical people that I, 
I've actually got I've taken damage guys um, that's the first time that's happened. Um, did he just run away or did he like vaporize? I'm not entirely sure. Probably ran away because he's a bitch. Bitch, 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 a bitch. Um, anyway, okay, maybe I should be a little bit more careful here. These guys seem to be doing a bit more damage. Um, 19 more gold. I wonder how much gold is going to cost. Ooh, some free stuff. Identify scrolls. Um, always useful, except we've only had to use like two of them. Um, okay. I was hoping for for a second, like, this maybe is a bad idea. Hopefully, the bridge doesn't blow up. Oh my god, there's everything. Let's send you to a def defensive stance. Oh god, I've, I got flanked while I did that. Okay, let's try this other spell. Nope, still does not do anything from what I can tell. Or I can't activate it. I don't know. Fires a ricocheting projectile from the active ranged weapon. Yeah, it doesn't I guess it doesn't work with pistols then? Um, I wonder how you, if you can switch the weapons on a fly. I have no idea. Oh shit! I hit the use potion buttons. I was like one and two. That's how you change weapons in first-person shooters. Why not here? Yeah. Um. Oh, press W. Of course. Of course, it's W. Ah, uh, nope. Yeah, there. From the crossbow, I can actually, or not crossbow, but from the bow, I can actually do the ricochet, which um, actually looks pretty cool. It looks like it'll penetrate like everyone. So if you have a bunch of people lined up like that, it'll actually be pretty nice. So wait, that's doing 16 damage. Um, how much is this doing? Um, maybe it's not a set amount every time. Actually, this this seems to do less damage. So I think I'm gonna actually use the crossbow. Oh, um, bam. Or maybe it just it's situational. I just got a lucky hit there. Um, there we go. Killed that guy. Ooh, leather boot, leather boots, a boot. Can I'm Canadian. A boot, a boot. Um, I'm kind of sad that there's no inventory Tetris with this one game. Um, yeah, we we can't use that anyway. Um, unidentified boots, which means they have something special on them. Plus twelve health. Oh, that's pretty bamfy. Um, yeah, and it has the same amount of armor, so that is pretty bamfy, and we leveled up to level three, of course, so Current experience current fame. I don't know what fame does I Sure we'll find out after we complete this quest, which I have no idea what that hoe is supposed to be doing um, Let's just increase our damage for now. We can worry about defense and stuff later um, Oh, can I not oh requires level five can we save skill points? I mean or maybe we just invest a bunch of skill points into this one. That's probably what's going to happen. Can I sell this one? I really don't care for it too much. I mean, it's decent. But, yeah. Anyway, let's continue on our journey of the underground mine of Torchlight. Which, I'm not sure if Torchlight is like a, the town we're in. Or if that's just the world. Or the world not world or the universe that's what's called if torchlight's the universe we're in I'm not entirely sure because um, people how they people were referencing it was kind of was kind of kind of confusing me hello um, please don't hit me um, I wonder how fast if we regen health or not I, I'm assuming we do because I'm sure I'd have a lot less health now um, I should use this more since I upgraded it two times now um, what do we have here Hatchet um, just take everything until my inventory is full and then I can drop things that I think might be useless or not Or things that aren't gonna sell for a lot essentially Or maybe by then we'll be we'll just use a teleport scroll to get the hell out of here I want another bow damn it or a pistol. That's better than the one I currently have um, That'd be cool Santa that is what I want for tomorrow or today. I don't want to wait till Christmas. That's like way too far away. Oh my god, there's an exclamation mark. We have done something we were supposed to. Um, that act, that is very reassuring. She must have thought I was in over my head again. Well, she's right. These monsters are getting stronger and I could use your help. Dude, I'm level 3. You must be like level 2 or something. You failure. I mean, I guess I want my XP's and my rewards. Oh, there's a dead adventure, and you have some scrolls on you, which is always nice. Ooh, 
A small bow that happens to use the exact same model, and I lied, it does not. But I would like to think it did, because that'd make me right. Average attack speed, so instead of slow, it's average, it does more damage. Um, it's good. It's good, it's good, it's good. Um, I had to close. Anyway, let us continue on our adventure, and it looks like we're doing the right thing now. Even though this is kind of a maze down here, and I'm just kind of walking down random paths aimlessly. Um, yeah, let's set you back to aggressive, because you don't seem to do anything. Are there shortcuts to this? Um, I don't know. Drop items here to feed pet. Are you supposed to feed him things? Oh, maybe like, um, health. If he needs a health pot or something. Um, which now I'm changing, um, his or her gender, whatever. I'm, I don't care. I don't need to keep that, um, constant. Ooh, this bow is nice. Um, kill in level twos quickly, even though actually the damage is like one or one to two more. Woohoo, big difference. Um, keep on upgrading your endurance. I wonder how fast you level up. It looks like we're almost level four, so I wonder if the max level is, or if there is a max level, or how fast the level curve gets up. Because at the beginning of games, you always level up nice and quickly. Keeps you interested in the game, makes you, makes you love it, makes you want to have babies with it, you know, that sort of thing. Gold, gold, gold. Um, do I have gold in my inventory? Um, I have, I'm, I'm almost a thousand air. Almost, but no cigar. Um, you are bleeding, my friend, and you're also dead. Um, I do enjoy dead things. They drop free prizes and loot, which make my days much happier. Um, do, 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 do. Oh, yes, level four. And since I have a partner, I can just screw the battle and upgrade, but it looks like it actually pauses the game. So that's a thing. Um, so if we upgrade this all the way, our max damage is increased by one. Whip, whoopee. And we can, actually we're almost level five. Um, we don't have Dirk, so that's kind of useless. Mastery of all forms of armor, um, reduces requirements and improves armor absorption. Actually, that, I mean, that's decent and everything, but I don't need that right away. Um... Pushes nearby enemies away with a freezing force of righteousness. Oh, that actually, that sounds like it could be pretty useful. So, oh, okay. These are the passive traits, and these are the active traits, which you have to cast. Um, is there any good passives over here? Inclu improves the potency of potions? Eh, I don't really use potions much, or at least normally in RPGs that don't end up... But you never know, maybe this one will change that. Increases all chance of lucky traits. I don't want to rely on luck. Increases level of all offensive magic and spells. Eh. Spells, I'd rather have just blunt damage. So, I mean, Marksman, the passive traits on that one aren't amazing. Um, increases level of defenses magic. I don't really use that. Mastery of swords, axes, maces, and pulley arms, which is kind of useless. Because, oh, I could have been investing in this one. No, I can't. Oh, yeah, I can. Look at that. And it looks like I can't get them back, so I accidentally invested in that. Minus one ranged equipment requirements, plus four ranged weapon damage. Um, so I guess you actually need to upgrade that if you want to keep on using weapons, or if you find better ones. So that's that's a good thing to note. I also, I'm 4% better with bows. That's going to be so noticeable, man. Um, or maybe that critical strike was reflective on, reflective on that. And it looks like we're going down again, which means... All the monsters would be like level three, probably, if that's how it works, which probably does work that way. Cause yeah. Wonder if these saves carry over to Torchlight Two. I have no idea how this game works. I have not read up on Torchlight or Torchlight Two at all, and this looks like the first level, so strain, uh, strangely a lot. Um, so I don't know if they are reusing environments here, but this looks like that first intersection exactly, cause of that even the health pot is there um, so maybe we're back at the beginning but I'm gonna I'm gonna hesitate and guess that we're not and they were just really fucking lazy and they reused it so maybe this game's not um, I don't know don't don't want to judge the game this early but I mean reusing environments obviously we haven't seen down here that's why I took this path um, but hopefully that's not reflective on the rest of the game or level one and three are gonna be the exact same things there's gonna be called different things. 
Um, who knows? Who knows? Who knows? We'll just have to wait and see.